When you open Unreal Engine 5 for the first time, the level editor opens and you will see this window. In this video, I'm gonna go over the most common elements of the Unreal Engine 5 interface. It's going to be a basic introduction and overview of the interface. So let's get into it. Use these menus to access editor specific commands and functionality. The main toolbar contains shortcuts to some of the most used tools and commands in Unreal Editor. It is divided into the following areas. Click the save button to save the level that is currently open. The mode selection contains shortcuts for quickly switching between different modes to edit content within your level. Content shortcuts is where the shortcuts for adding and opening common types of content within the level editor exist. Create or quickly add to the project lets you choose from a list of common assets to quickly add to your level. You can also access the place actors panel from this menu. Blueprints allows you to create and access blueprints. And cinematics lets you create a level sequence or master sequence cinematic. Play mode controls contains shortcut buttons for running your game in the editor. Platforms contains a series of options you can use to configure, prepare, and deploy your project to different platforms such as desktop, mobile, or consoles. And settings is where you can find various settings for the Unreal Editor, level editor viewport, and game behavior. Before moving to the next section, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new Unreal Engine tutorials I'm planning to put here. Also, join my Unreal Engine Facebook group, the link is in the description. The level viewport displays the contents of the level that is currently open. This is where you can view and edit the contents of your active level, whether it's a game environment, a product visualization app, or something else. The content drawer button, located in the bottom left corner of the Unreal Editor, opens a special instance of the content browser that automatically minimizes when it loses focus, that is when you click away from it. To keep it open, click the Duck in Layout button in the top right corner of the content drawer. This creates a new instance of the content browser, but you can still open a new content drawer. What is the content browser you may ask? The content browser is a file explorer window that displays all of the assets, blueprints, and other files contained in your project. You can use it to browse through your content, drag assets into the level, migrate assets between projects, and more. The outliner panel displays a hierarchical view of all the content in your level. You can also use it to quickly hide or reveal actors by clicking their associated I button or create, move, and delete content folders. When you select an actor in the level viewport, the details panel will show the settings and properties that affect the actor you selected. It displays various properties for that actor, such as its transform, static mesh, material, and physics settings. The settings this panel displays are different depending on what you select in the level viewport. The bottom toolbar gives you access to the command console, output log, and some other shortcuts such as trace, derived data functionality, and save status. It also displays revision or source control status. Output log is a debugging tool that prints out useful information while your application is running. Command console behaves as any other command line interface. You can enter console commands to trigger a specific editor behaviors. Type help and press enter to open a list of available console commands in your browser. Some of the elements described in this video are generally the same across various parts of the engine. You should spend some time getting familiar with their general purpose and functionality, especially if you're new to Unreal Engine. So that's it for this video. Thanks everyone so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it's been helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new tutorials I'm planning to put here. Also, join my Unreal Engine Facebook group. The link is in the description. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Now, with all of that being said, I'll see you in the next one.